All right, so I'd like to give you some printmaking tips. Here we have a scratch foam plate that has been scratched into, and here is the resulting print. Something you should notice is that this is a mirror image of this. The stem is coming down into this corner, whereas I drew it and scratched it coming down into that corner. That makes designing a little bit tricky. Whenever you're going to put lettering into your print, you'll have to scratch it into your foam like this, backwards. That's why I'm gonna give you this sheet to help you. Not only do you have to write the letters backwards, but you have to write from right to left, instead of left to right like you normally would. For example, here is the city of Portland seal. I have flipped this image, I have mirrored it, so that someone could copy it onto their foam plate, but then the print will look correct. So this says city of Portland from right to left. And even the year is backwards as well. Here's an example of two other important symbols of Portland. Here is Union Station and the flag printed correctly. But what I am providing for you is the backwards mirror version so you can design your plate based on that. It's very subtle, but in the correct flag, the rivers intersect sort of towards the left, and on the reverse, the rivers intersect a little bit to the right. Tip number two, add lots of lines. Your lines can't be too tiny or thin, but lines add interest to your art. Look at this beautiful fish. Something you might consider is not using that rectangle, but design it first and then you can decide later whether you'd like to cut your shape out of a rectangle for printing. This fish is beautiful because it's covered in lines. One thing you won't be able to control all of the time is how well your plate prints. You'll be experimenting with different amounts of ink. Sometimes your lines will show crisply, sometimes they won't, and that's just part of the process. So here's the first print I made of my rose. It's an okay print, but it lacked something. I added some more lines, kind of a cloudy textured background, to make this print more interesting, more engaging for a viewer. So when you're looking at your design, try to be sure that without overdoing it, you're at least experimenting with adding a little bit more than a little bit less. That's all, have fun designing your prints.